G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. So this week I'm going to start doing some work on the companionway. So all we've got is this big cut out here, there's nothing. Uh, I cut everything off of the top here. There was a metal slide with a, a, a big box built up and this, the slide will go back as a traditional boat. We're changing it up, we're going to be having a companionway that's going to slide into a cavity slide. So. Uh, there's pros and cons about doing that. It just looks neater. It's the, our pro, the con is that water basically can come in and into your boat. If it was raised up, it protects it a lot better. However, I'm going to have a, a bit come down and a L bracket come come in and down. So, and inside that L bracket, there will be a bit of a copper dam so that the water can come in, fall onto it, and then drain down the sides. So it goes straight into the bilge. So I'm going to start getting onto that. I've got my 10mm bar here. I'm going to be welding that in nice and flush to the top. I did think that I could have it risen up a bit and then uh, that'll be a water barrier for water to come in. But since I've come up with a plan of having a dam, it's not going to be needed. So I'm going to have it nice and flush to make it look neater. And then in the sides here, I'm going to weld in a 10mm by 50mm bar go down and it's going to be that thick and strong because I, I want nice sturdy brackets to go on the doors. Uh, I don't want uh, like loose and saggy doors after a couple of years. So yeah, the doors are going to come in here and, and swing. So today we're going to start by welding in that square bar and starting to build the, uh, the little bracket that's going to hang on down the bottom. So let's get cracking. All right, so I've got a bit of angle line that I took out of the floor when we lowered the floor. It's pretty rusted up, but um, it's still fully functional. It's, it hasn't lost any, it's just all surface corrosion, no material loss. So I've already measured everything. I'm gonna mark out 119, two, two bars at 119 long. That's gonna be how long our slide is. And then it's gonna be 88 centimeters wide. So I'll mark that out. I'm gonna put 45 degrees uh, so it all welds up nicely and square it all up, tack it all together and go see how it fits. All right, so I've cut these out, as you can see. We've put some 45 degree angles so we can weld that all nice and neat. Now, the companion way slide is going to slide up and down that rail there. So it's just gonna move back and forth within this chamber. So this chamber is gonna be, that's gonna be bolted up against the roof. And then we're gonna weld in a little strip that goes across here and that will be a little bit of a dam so if any water gets on the top of the lid it's going to roll down the sides into this little dam area here and then it's going to trickle out the front and down to the drain so 
on top here we're going to mount some more nylon and that's going to be the the slide mechanism um, so it's going to allow it to slide back and forth nice and neat and then we'll also have um, on the roof there will also be another um, nylon strip just to keep that nice and flowing nice and smooth so got a bit more work to do All right, we've got this all welded up. It's all nice and square. Welded both inside and out. Just ground the welds off inside here. So next step on this will be to weld in the gutter that goes along this track here. It's not gonna be this big, but it's, um, yeah, we'll have a bit of a gutter in there, but it's only gonna come up a couple mil, like five mil, um, just enough to stop any water from from spilling in over the side and uh, channel it down into a hole that we're going to drill at the, at the front end of it. That's the front end there on this side. So that's basically all welded up. I'm going to move on to doing those square bars. But what I did notice is that this hasn't been cut all that neatly. So if I was to weld this on here, put that on that there's going to be too much of a gap for me to bridge being that that's only three millimeter plate so i'm going to have to trim this up nice and neat so it's going to be a better weld and then uh, cut all these bars to size
So I just ran out of welding wire. I knew it was getting low and I, I thought I'd be able to get through a couple more bits of welding, but unfortunately uh, ran out. So I'm gonna have to go to the, the hardware store, get some more welding wire. Uh, but we nearly got this one all welded in. So we've got some welds going across here. I've already touched them up, but uh, I haven't welded from there to there. Um, but that's gonna create a nice squared off uh, bit and we'll round those corners off a bit as well. But I haven't been able to get this bit in. So that's still gonna be welded in. And we've got the other one all cut ready to go. But uh, since I ran out of welding wire and I still had a bit of time left in the day, I did what really makes the wife happy. And I cleaned the area up. So we got rid of everything. It's all stained uh, from spilling stuff and all my grinding uh, and all the dirt. But um, I've cleaned up all the sides, cleaned up down the sides of the boats. So each side. So she loves it when it's all nice and clean. So did that for her today. Um, I've finished welding this up, uh, but we're gonna have to get that five mil uh, plate that I'm gonna weld in and that's going to create the gutter um, so that any water that goes in there runs off and I'm going to be mounting this up on the roof with um, some mounting blocks so I'm going to get some some chunky blocks 10 mil thick and I'm going to uh, create six of them maybe eight so one two three four five six seven eight and each block will have two through holes and that will have a m10 cap head go through I'm going to go drill through holes and drill and tap into this so that I can mount this up on the roof um, and have the ability to remove it and take it down. What that's going to allow me to do is uh, remove the wear plates, the nylon wear plates that are going to go on here uh, for the slide. So I need to be able to do maintenance on it and if I had just put that on the roof and put a couple of tacks on it, well then the only way to get it down is to cut it off with a grinder. So I want uh, any maintenance that I do on the boat on it as easy as possible. So it, all I have to do is take some of the headlining panels off, get an Allen key and undo the cap heads and um, I can lower the whole companionway slide down and do the maintenance I need to do. So I'm gonna uh, have to cut up some 10 mil plate and um, we'll get eight pieces, drill some holes in them and then yeah, mark out for drilling and tapping. So still a lot of work to do, um, but yeah, ran out of welding wire, so I need to run down to the hardware to get that. Um, so I'll be back in a couple of days to start some more work. Thanks guys. I'm back at the boat again for my second day's work. I've got most of the gear that I need. So I'm going to rip into resetting up this welder with some new wire. Uh, I'm not a big fan of replacing welding wire. It always seems to spring on me, but um, we'll get it done so we can get back to work.
ready to go. Because I think I'm running dangerously co close to running out of gas as well, I'm just going to tack everything in, uh, just like I've done with the dodger here. And then if I've got gas left over, I will weld everything back up. Um, but I want enough gas to be able to weld all these bars on. I've got my 10 mil bar here go on the inside to lock nicely bored of that. And this is going to be really strong to hang my doors off of. It's overkill, but I'd rather be overkill than have a flexible door that's going to jump around. Um, it's good for security too, just in case someone wants to bash in my doors. Got a really sturdy hinge base. So I'll get all them tacked in. Then I want to move my uh, companion way frame in and G clamp it in place so I can weld my 10 mil bar in on all those locations which are going to drill and tap. And then um, and then all the tacking is done. See how much gas we got left over and finish the welding. So let's get to it. So just did a quick measure before I started welding and um, we're a little bit out of square so I've got to just uh, trim up to this little line here. So it's pretty faint, I've done it in green. So I'll just uh, quickly trim it up and we can get into welding. So I just quickly tacked that all in. So I just ran a whole bunch of tacks down the side here. Um, I had to put a G-clamp on there to just straighten that uh, panel out because that was slightly bowed. So that's all nice and straight. Just got some nice thick panels where we can actually mount our hinges on uh, for, for our two doors that are gonna open and close. So that's nice and strong. It's all squared up. So yeah, just framing out that companionway entrance and we've got a nice straight uh, square uh, ridge going in here so when the slide comes back and forth it's not got that wavy three millimeter uh, steel it's got a nice solid 10 millimeter base all the way around so the next step is to temporarily fit this frame so I can uh, mark out where the uh, 10 mil thick plates are going to go to retain this frame so let's get that mounted in. All right, I've got my little bracket just sitting up here with some G clamps, clamping it down. Still a little rusty and everything, that's all good though. Um, this beam going across here is just slightly too long. I need, to, I need to shave a mill off of this forward end here because I just can't push that up. It's hard up against that beam going across there. So it's about two millimeters too long. That's all right, it's easy enough to shave off. So this, this beam here is actually in a convenient spot because once that gets pushed up, they're both 50 mil, it's nice and parallel. 
so it's not going to encroach into the roof lining at all which is nice and uh, I won't have to weld any tabs in the back here because I just drill a hole through the back and the bolt will go through there and the tapped hole will be on this piece here and that will fasten it from the back so I'll just put in three holes at the back which means I'm just going to put a couple of brackets on this side so I have some leftover material from these strips we just welded in which is just here so I'm just going to cut this in half and then we'll end up just drilling two holes one there one there and then two holes on this half and then I'll just weld in one there and one on that side and the same on this side one there and one there and that will hold my companion way slide um, housing so yeah that'll work and I'll uh, leave this in place I've, I've lined it all up I've measured that it's perfectly in center um, so I'm going to cut these in half and we'll uh, mark them out and put them up and then we'll give them a weld in and get these brackets in So when you're drilling with this drill press and especially when you got like a, a small drill bit they're easy to break and drill, uh, bigger drill bits like to grab when you get down to the end of the hole and it wants to rip through the hole it really wants to grab and like throw your item out so when you're drilling and you're putting pressure on your drill as it goes down you want to keep going and then you want to back off a little bit that breaks this swarfed little swarf comes out you don't want your swarf to be longer than the flute on your drill because um, what's going to happen is they're going to um, go up there and they're going to bind up and they'll wrap around your drill bit and then they get sucked down and they'll they sort of like tension up your drill bit and it can snap it um, so you don't want to do that so every time you get a bit of swarf that's about the size of your flute you want to just back back that off a little bit so as you're going down you see the size of your swarf you just back it off a little bit breaks that um, that run of swarfed off and then uh, doesn't bind up your drill bit then when you get down to the end of your hole and, and you're putting constant pressure with your hand and then you're right at the end of your hole you want to just stop putting pressure on and just let the uh, drill bit break through the end um, so then it doesn't grab and break the end the tips of your drill off
Well, I'm running out of time today, but I have got these four tabs tack welded in. I'm just doing tacks at the moment because I think that gas bottle is about to be empty. So uh, it's, we can lower this whole frame down now. So uh, we've just got to put the little bar that's going to be welded on all that area and that's going to act as a dam. So if any water comes in here and then rolls over the companionway slide, it's going to just go into this dam and then that's going to travel if you can see because it's getting dark it's going to travel down here and then it'll be a hole at the bottom here and then that'll drain down the side so yeah no water dripping in any of the surfaces on the inside but it will go down to the bilge don't expect much water to get in with that uh, spray dodger the hard dodger up there um, but yeah we're going to try our best to minimize as much as possible so I'm going to drop that down now and call it a day. Um, I've still got to pack up. It's 8 o'clock at night. Although it looks sunny still. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of daylight at the moment. So it's 8 o'clock. Pack it up. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of days to try and finish off this frame. Um, so I can get that installed. So I just made it back for my last day of work this week on the boat and we got this bar here I'm going to weld in. So that's going to act as a dam. So the water is going to pull up in here and not come up over the top and the water will flow down into the hole that will be drilled in here. So we're just going to run some welds across there. Um, I ran out of the 10 mil bar, I'm just trying to use up everything I've got left over so I don't have to buy a whole bunch of steel so I've got this little thin piece of 10 mil by uh, 2 mil and we've got this 12 mil steel here so we're just gonna use that up and just use this scrap bit up and that's gonna get that all nicely made up and then once that's all welded up it'll be another time but uh, eventually I'll cut this down and this is gonna sit inside there we're going to cut it into multiple strips so it's obviously not going to be this big um, and then there'll be a 10 millimeter slot routed in the middle of this and that's where the runner for the slide will run back and forth and that will keep that that slide running parallel so that's going to work out nicely All right, so I just finished welding it up. I ground everything back and used the flapper disc to clean the edges up. So we got some full penetrated weld all the way along. And then I just welded most of that whole surface and then ground it back and ran a flapper over it. So we did that on both sides. So it's all nice and neat now. Doesn't even look like there's much weld there. Um, so that's all watertight, so it's like a dam. So uh, that's all we've probably got time for this week, but so next week I'm going to look at uh, blasting and painting this and then um, we'll put it up and do a final fit and drill some holes in it and tap them. And we might make a start on making the actual cover slide. So I've got some marine ply, I've got the fiberglass and the resin, so I'm just going to cut it out with, with uh, the marine ply to suit the size and then I'm just going to wrap it in fiberglass um, and fair it and um, give it a paint job and it'll look nice. Um, I was thinking about welding some nuts on in here, so then when, when I put the uh, nylon strips in I can use a countersunk screw to retain that down. However, I'm thinking it's not taking much load, it doesn't really need to be load um, taken down and screwed down to the surface. All I need to do is put a couple of blobs of sticker flex just to hold it in place while the slides go back and forth 
Um, so I don't think we need to go too crazy on it. Um, I think that will be fine. Uh, so yeah, we'll look at finishing this off next week and um, we'll try and use up the rest of my um, gas and we'll finish welding up this companion way. So we've just got to bridge some gaps, just finish welding this all up. Um, and these brackets, they've been welded, welded in place, we'll have to put weld all around them. So we've done a good job this week, uh, made a good start on the companion way. Um, so we'll try and finish off next week. I don't want to go ahead and weld the whole um, hard dodger just yet because uh, I don't know how much gas I've got left and I don't want to get a quarter away doing it. I just want to do it in one big hit. So we'll do some of the little jobs with the gas I've got remaining and then uh, yeah, we'll get back onto the hard job during a couple of weeks. Uh, but it'd be nice to be able to start locking up this boat because we're going to be starting to work on the inside soon and I don't want to be putting everything in here and the boat's open to everybody and I might have stuff going missing. But um, yeah, so we'll get this boat lock lockable um, because I've got some stuff on order that's coming in and we can start installing stuff inside the boat. So that's all we got time for this week, unfortunately. Um, hopefully everyone enjoyed the episode. We're gonna keep putting out content, so make sure you like and subscribe and um, leave a comment, let me know how I'm going. Um, yeah, we've had heaps of good comments uh, over the couple, last couple of weeks. Uh, really appreciating it. So keep them up and uh, we'll see everyone next week. Have a good week, guys.